Our next subject, benign essential tremor. Very simple subject. If you took Parkinson's and just made it the one part of it that was tremor, it's benign essential tremor. That's it. You could call it a tiniest slice of Parkinson's disease. It may not be a great idea to call it. Better to just say benign essential tremor because it is like having Parkinson's but just the tremor part. But it doesn't progress. The other thing about benign essential tremor, the other thing about benign essential tremor is that the person comes in and he says, hey doc, when I have a drink of alcohol, when I have two drinks, when I have two drinks, it steadies my hands. So you're going to think it's like alcohol withdrawal. It's not alcohol withdrawal. A drink of alcohol steadies the hands. It's true. Beta agonists make it worse too. Cocaine, beta agonists make it worse. Alcohol and benzodiazepines make it better. Stimulatory things like caffeine and beta agonists make it worse. Relaxing things like a drink make it better. So that's what happens is the guy looks like he's an alcoholic only because he says, Doc, I, I, I have a tremor and it gets better when I take a drink. There is no diagnostic test for essential tremor. It is a resting tremor. It is a resting tremor. And the treatment for benign essential tremor is a beta blocker. Propranolol. Propranolol. Remember that benign essential tremor is both resting and intention. Resting and intention. Parkinson's disease, Parkinson's disease is only at rest is the tremor. Parkinson's disease is only at rest. Whereas the central tremor is both at rest and with intention. Cerebellar disease tremors, cerebellar disease tremors is only with action only with intention. You get this? You're going to love this. Ready? Only at rest, only with action, both. Propranolol. Gets better when I have a drink. Gets worse with beta agonists. Gets worse with caffeine and other stimulants. Gets better with an alcohol and propranolol.